demonstration I'm about to show you is gonna blow you away if you wanna know how to recode someone's brain fast. If you've had limits, self-sabotage patterns, or any sort of anxiety, this is massive. And if you are somebody that wants to help others create big change fast, you gotta watch this. When I brought Sarah out in front of the audience, she was trembling. Not only did she have a fear of public speaking, she had a fear of speaking to anyone. She was sweating and trembling. You can see it in the video just how shy she is. I connect to her superconscious and do the work. In a matter of minutes, after helping her superconscious let go of those patterns, she's not only able to speak confidently in front of a large audience, but she changed her life forever. You'll hear her testimonial. If you want to know how quick the superconscious creates change and this amazing process, keep watching and see how Sarah responded to this amazing work. Uh, so the first question is, what would you really like to have? What would you really like to create in relation to the the, the public speaking fear thing that's going on? Just to be able to feel comfortable being around people and yeah, actually have a conversation and not undermine one another and. Yeah, no, just be able to hold a conversation with somebody. Um, feel comfortable having a conversation. Awesome. So the, the next thing is how would it feel, just for a second, how would it feel to already have that now? What would that be like? What would that be like? A breath of fresh air. I can breathe. Nice. Okay, so the question is, is compared to that, what's it like now? But if, you know, that's the feeling, what's it actually like? So instead of being able to have a conversation, feel comfortable, what's it like now? Very restricted. Yep. Very isolating. Yep. Awesome. Awesome. So on that side, what would you what would you put the number at between zero and ten? Ten being massive resistance and um, zero being no resistance at all. Like you can just do that. You're a 10? Are you sure? Is there an 11? Is there an 11? <laughs> there can be an 11 to that. Okay, so it's an 11. So we're going to do an easy process. All you have to do is just close your eyes and just listen to my voice. But the first question I want to ask is, is it okay for me to talk to your superconscious uh, to create a, a very easy treatment plan and for you just to, for you to release this easy? Is that, is that okay? Cool. So you just close your eyes for a second. And I just want to ask you, superconscious, hey, superconscious, do you see this? So you just breathe and just notice this for a second. Superconscious, can you please do a massive change history and treat all beliefs, emotions, and feelings that are in the active experience when it comes to having confident conversations and being happy in front of the audience. Please do a massive change as you think. And you just breathe into that for a second. That's it. And just notice what you need to notice. Now audience, this won't make sense because we're not talking consciously. You see, I'll explain how it's done afterwards. Is that alright? And everyone's just happy to support it. That's it. Superconscious, can you please go back to the original event this time on the last timeline? And do a massive change history and everything after that. Thank you. There you go. There you go. Can you please just bring out all parts they would like to join in on the treatment process also when it comes to increasing more satisfaction in this area of life. And let all the parts know that they won't die. Uh, treatment will just uh, help them to have less emotion, but they'll still have all the learning. Is that okay? There's a massive change history and everything. 
just notice what you need to know. It's not hypnosis, she's not in a trance, it's not what you've seen before. So I'd just like to check in with you. When you think about speaking in front of an audience and having confident conversations, is there out of 10, how much resistance do you feel now? Three or a two. That's pretty cool. You did that. I just want you to replace, replace all holes with positive thoughts, memories, beliefs, and identities, all positive emotions that will aid in supporting more satisfaction in life. Can you do that? And I see a picture of you, just the biggest smile on your face, head up, feeling so good. Can you see that? That's it. Just breathe into that for a second. And I want to ask you the last question, which is, what would the person that you've just become do right now? When you've got it, you can open your eyes. Anything that's logical and conscious isn't getting into the place you need to get to. Say, cannot. Because they wanted to run around the room, so you know. <laughs> 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 nervous, very anxious, um, my heart was racing really fast and I remember feeling really awkward because there was all these, it wasn't that many people but that was a lot of people for me. Very difficult just to do day to day life, even just shopping or anything like that, like I actually wasn't leaving the house a lot at all, getting very overwhelmed and yeah I was fortunate to come out and um, have Chris do a um, and yeah, it was just incredible. It was a really amazing experience. Um, I noticed all this energy as I was starting to think about the new things. I could feel it and I was feeling my body and then when he asked the question, it's like, yeah, something in my mind was listening. It was at attention and it decided to listen and let go, which I hadn't been able to get it to do. It was like a dog with a bone and it didn't want to let go and it was like the magic command to drop the bone, so to speak, I suppose. And um, yeah, it's incredible. Yeah, after doing that session there was something, my space felt different afterwards. Like I, he asked me what the number was and I said, oh, I fell into myself and I thought, oh, maybe about a three because there was something, a part of me that just went, oh. 
something's different and I was still in the process and I'm going, I don't know, something felt really different. It just felt good just being able to be in my space and not feel too big or too whatever and just, yeah, it's, it's um, yeah, I'm very blown away by how effective it is but also it is compassionate, it brings the things up that we need so it's very personal and for me that's something that spoke, that's why that worked. I know I feel that, yeah that was something that was great but like I said without the trauma, without going into it all and yeah so quick, there's uh, even as we're speaking it just happened about maybe an hour ago or so and I'm noticing even since I've walked out as I'm going to do things I'm actually feeling like I go to put my hands somewhere or do something out of habit but then it feels uncomfortable and I go ah oh. so then I'm like trying to find new ways of getting around in this body in my body um, so yeah you feel it even working afterwards it wasn't just while you're on there it was like this moment of the like, car oh, everything's great it was like when I walked off I could feel I can't wait to go to sleep tonight or wake up like and see over the next few days how every time I go to do something like there was this panic like you get on stage and you're like oh is it really happening has this really happened and then you're like oh I shouldn't think like that but it was like no you can tell something's different because I can't I'll go to do something I used to do and it's changed it feels different and my brain is actually looking for new ways of how to apply myself and my body's listening, my body's actually like, I don't even have to do anything. I'm just sitting there just observing it and just allowing that change to happen. And yeah, I love that. It's a process that keeps working. Um, like you feel it instantly and then you feel it to continue to work afterwards. It's, um, I'm feeling very, very thankful.